It's a pleasure to be here today to speak of Jimmy Watts. I made no notes. I sat down the other day and tried to remember the first time I ever saw him. When I was in second grade, he was in the first, so I guess I saw him then at recess, but I don't remember it. Probably the first time I saw him was in Little League Baseball, which we used to play right behind the old gym and the new gym at uh, Whitefield High School today. The next vivid memory I have is we played for the Wolfpack for three years. One of the things I remember is that people ask me how good I was, and I tell them I was good enough to play in the outfield with Harry Ward and the same team with Jimmy Watts. Trust me, they were fabulous ball players. In today's world, they're probably recruited, signed pro, might be in the major leagues. They were that good. Jimmy was quiet, didn't say a whole lot, but he performed and performed well. He came to see me several times in the last 10 or 12 years and we would visit. He could talk your ears off. He finally had to make an excuse to leave. <laughs> Charles Hamlin's a good friend of mine, would keep me up with Jimmy because Jimmy would come see him and spend hour after hour with him. I left White for about 10 or 12 years and came back and somebody told me Jimmy was a pro tennis coach up in the Richmond area. And I said, tennis? And we were White because they didn't have a tennis court in town that I knew of. <laughs> I left and about 10, 12 years later I came back and somebody told me he was a teaching pro for golf. And the only golf course we had was a White for Country Club. And you didn't know the right people, you didn't even walk on that place. <laughs> yes, hey, how could he do that? Jimmy was unique in that he could do anything that he wanted to do. Ping pong, checkers, it didn't make, uh, make any difference. He was truly blessed with abilities. And for me to have the opportunity to be on a basketball team and a baseball team with him was truly, truly blessed. I've known his family and I've known them for a a long time. I talked to him five years ago at the golf course, and we reminisced about several things. And I told the guys I have coffee with every morning that in the last few years, like me, Jimmy couldn't remember what happened yesterday. But he could remember a baseball game, the direction of the wind, mm -hmm. what the score was, who was pitching. He didn't, he didn't forget a thing. He knew it all. So interesting, uh, an interesting young man. I, I'm glad I got to be a part of his life. I told my group this morning that uh, I love Jimmy Watts, and I want you to love him too. My prayer is that God will love him, and one day I'll be on the same baseball team with him again. Amen. 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 Amen.